So, this week, something has happened which has caused a lot of money to get wiped off people's pensions and the pricing of goods to go up. And I'm going to steer as far as I can so I don't upset my um, Yankee Danky friends. But what I am going to talk about is pricing because there is no question that we've seen pricing in FPV go up this week as a result of the tariffs. It isn't clear yet if any of the FPV stuff um, is going to be exempt. There are some complications on the exemption numbers. Something we did come to the conclusion of earlier was almost anything with a microcontroller could technically be exempt. So I'm wondering how long before you see an AT32 um, on everything, even if it's not popular. Everyone's pension's gone. Yeah, like I feel for anyone who wanted to retire this month or in the next three months because hold out. Um, and genuinely, I was talking to friends last night and there are people we know who have had to cancel and delay their intended retirements. And I'm not joking they have had to completely put it on hold, which it's just insane. Obviously, the tariffs is a problem and we started to see pricing increase. And what's been quite interesting is the fact that some retailers have put pricing up on products before they've even received the new batches. Now, if we go to the desktop, here's a great example. The HD Zero Box Pro goggles are 299 from HD Zero. I absolutely guess HD Zero are going to have to put the price up. But here's what I found interesting is Race Day Quads have put up this big thing about tariff pricing and a letter to the community. But they have already increased the pricing of a lot of their products. So if I search for Box Pro, in stock at 449. Now that is absolute bullshit, if I'm going to be honest with you. That is BS. They haven't paid this. They had them in stock already. So everyone is putting their prices up in advance as a result of this. And honestly, I think it's disgusting. Honestly, I think it's an absolute joke. Look at the Speedy B version 3. $188. $187 for the T-Motor. Absolute joke and I'll be honest I don't know race day I don't know the people behind them but I'm sorry I think you're taking the piss I really do feel you're taking the piss with this we all understand stuff is going to go up okay let's have a look at motors we all understand pricing is going to shift it doesn't need to shift before the tariff has happened, though. They need to cover the cost of the replacement stock. I don't... Nah, sorry. That's scalping. There is a term for it. It's called scalping. It's it's just scalping. That's all that is. $34 a zing. What I would say is this. If you don't, don't buy anything you absolutely don't need to buy, it's that simple. I would not be spending a single penny that you don't need to spend, especially at retailers who've put their pricing up. We expect pricing to go up, and it should go up as the stock comes through, and everything will be affected. DJI drones, 3D printers. I think you've just got to hold out. If they're running at 10% margins, how can they cover the 100% 40 increase in cost? They have... Well, yeah, but that's, that's a cash flow issue. 
So you then selectively order in what you absolutely have to. That is a cash flow issue. Because what they're not going to do is reduce the price the day the tariff goes, yet they've paid the higher price for the stock. It's cost that doesn't exist yet, as someone said. It, it's, it's crazy. It is utterly, utterly crazy. Look, I fully understand prices are going to go up, but to hit it that early... The truth is, though, everything is going to go up and it is, it's going to be hard for the US market. And the truth is, the FPV industry exists off the Uf, US market. It, it is, its entire existence is based on US purchasing. The rest of us added together don't get near the US. So if I look at my audience, my audience size for this channel is something like for the something like 60 percent us let me dji still has regular pricing yeah you gotta remember though dji won't pay it on their website the one thing to understand is take you gotta take into account a difference between the manufacturer selling it to you direct and retailers. If you go to DJI's website and order an 04 Pro and they ship it from China to you, you're paying the tariff on the import because DJI won't. So in theory, all the manufacturers who sell direct may do nothing because you're the one paying it. If DJI bunk a warehouse internally like they do in the past, then they will pay it. Has Pyrodrome put their prices up as well? There's an announcement here as well. I, I feel for them because... I feel for them all, but I don't like stuff going up in advance. See, look at that. That's goggle only 389. That's more like it. It's not right, but it's more like it. The problem is now, everyone's just not going to buy. And that's going to be the big problem right now is everyone is just going to go... Stop buying until this settles. And I'll be honest, I wouldn't purchase right now. It's hard for me to recommend anyone buys because all of this has been delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. And, delayed. and let's just see what happens. And, I, and I, I just wouldn't recommend people spend money until this all sorts. You know, make do. Just make do. I thought the tariff would be a burden on the manufacturer and then they up their prices to pass it to the consumer. So how the price is going up when it's just kicking in. The tariff's the burden on the consumer. The tariff, a tariff, is always on the consumer. Do not kid yourself for whatever BS is being said about this. It ain't the manufacturer that's paying. It's always the consumer one way or another you're either paying it up front and seeing it as in you pay the import tax or the price will be increased but you are paying it you are always paying it because no one is going to swallow that level of import the, the cost it, it you you in the end will pay it's just what dress you put it in. Is it in a importer dress? Is it in the consumer dress? What's the price of a stack on on here? So if we go to electronics, if we go electronics, flight controllers, FC stacks, sorry. There we go. So what we got on here? Speedy B version 3, 116. How can it be 116 on on race day, a pyrodrone, and nearly 170 on race day quads. Are they on drugs or something? So let's go to brand. Speedy B, Speedy B, Speedy B, Speed. Let, let's, let's stick with Speedy B a minute. Let's check it out. Manufacturer, let's do the same thing. So Speedy B, Speedy B. And let's go with the manufacturer, Speedy B. Okay. So let's start with Pyrodrone. So the version 3 is 116. The version 4 was 90 of the F405. But the version 3 in stock, 116. How much was 
94, the version for the 405 version 4. 107, version 3, F7, version 3, 188. Okay. On sale, look. Get FPV, F405 version 4, 64.99. F7 version 3, 99. On sale from 188.99. Let's just try Pyro at checkout. Pyro are ripping us off here. What is going on? Add to cart. No, they want 188 quid for that. So Global Source says, if you really want to put out a PSA, tell people to get their AliExpress orders in ASAP. May the 1st, each package... Even different stores combined will be a $100 tariff. What, into the US or out of China? Pyro Jones is charging California gas. <laughs> but look, the truth is, things are a mess. The only thing I do wonder is, and, and, and here's something I'm really reluctant to do. Do I want to go here? Right, let's do this. In theory... That's not going to be tariffed. The flight controller is quite cheap. It won't be tariffed. Yeah, I'm using the word in theory just in case. $163. It's still not cheap, is it? Right. So, I think it's going to be a um, tough three months, guys. I also think you're going to see a number of products pulled back that were protect, which were due for release. Um, but I don't know what people are meant to do. It'll ha it'll happen. We'll just have to wait and see. That's all we can do because what else can happen? There's no way around it until we understand what's going to kick in. I I'm not convinced it's going to last long. That I do will say. I'm not convinced it's going to last long at all. 